Lila is looking for a second date update with Dan. Hey, Lila, how are you? Hi, how are you? It's so good to talk to you guys. It's good to talk to you. It has been a long time. People are dating, Jeff. I know. Feels good to be back in the swing of things. So tell us about Dan, how the two of you met, and how the first date went down. So we met online. I am still working from home like pretty much everybody. Um, I don't know when my office is going to start letting us come back in, honestly, if ever. Are you good with that, or, or are you itching to get back in? I'm actually good with that part of it. The only thing that sucks is I'm single, and most of my success in meeting people has been through work, you know, like Uh, happy hours and conferences. I meet new clients sometimes that end up, you know, landing me a date. So um, I've kind of had to switch things up and go online. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely different. Uh, I've met a few guys, but I've only been on one date. We did like a social distancing date, I guess. We went for a hike. That's cool. We both wore our masks. We stayed at least six feet apart the whole time. It honestly was a little weird, but it felt like the responsible thing to do. It sounds weird, though. I mean, I know it's the responsible thing to do, but... Was it one of those things where like you started six feet away, but... Over the course of the hour or two that you were hiking, it sort of, kind of drifted. faded to, hey, we're just walking next to each other kind of thing? Well, it's more like wearing a mask makes it really hard to interact with somebody. Like, I couldn't yeah. see his face. I couldn't tell if he was smiling or laughing. Right. Like, we had to, like, yell through the mask to have yeah. a conversation. Yeah. Plus, when you were out of breath, I mean, what was that like? Yes, it was not easy. I mean, there were definitely times where I could not breathe. Because yeah. I give you two credit for trying. Me I too. I still smile at everyone that looks at me at the grocery store, and I'm like, what am I doing? They can't see. Right. <laughs> I like it because it feels like your eyes go up a little bit, and Maybe. I know that you're definitely smiling. But, like, we've gone to Miami Whitewater, like, multiple times, and some people are, like, exercising with the mask on. You know, just taking the taking the uh, trail or even, mm-hmm. like, walking around the lake there. So I've seen it. But also, more importantly, I guess, it did feel like there was a connection. Like, as much of a connection as you can have when you're six feet apart from yeah. someone and both wearing masks, you know. But I, it didn't feel like anything went wrong. So, like, I just can't imagine that I said something or did something that turned him off. And I know that I'm the only woman that he's been out with. He said he's, you know, not been on any other dates. So I don't feel like he's running around with a bunch of other women. Yeah, right. That you know of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's it fair. could be, too. <laughs> like, maybe you didn't do anything that turned him off or pissed him off or anything like that. But he just didn't get the full the full Lila effect, you know, yeah. because of that damn mask. Yeah. That, I mean, I just want to know what's up. Like, what happened? So, like, at the end of your day together, was he like, let's do this again soon? Or was he kind of standoffish? Like, were you getting any kind of vibe from him at all? Was there a plan in place to reconnect? There was no plan. So he didn't seem, like, super excited, but that could have been because of the math and the distancing. And, like, you know, he didn't seem upset or, like, over it. Mm -hmm. But... Just hard didn't, to I mean, there was like a, hey, we'll talk again soon, you know. Okay. But no, like, second date planned. All right. So you want us to call him? Yes, please. Okay. We're going to take a break first. But when we come back, we'll call Dan and see what he thought of Lila and his hike with her. And if there's a possibility of future hikes together. Maybe a date without the mask. Coming up, Jeff and Jen, Cincinnati's Q102. <laughs> All right, so Lila's been, like a lot of people, working remotely from home. And the only real the only real dating she's done, I mean, if you even call it dating, or, or guys she's met have been online, like so many of us. So here we are. She meets Dan. They end up getting together for a hike, did the social distancing thing. Masks felt pretty good. Felt like there was a connection. Lots in common. Didn't feel like anything got weird or screwed up. And he just drops off the face of the earth. So we're going to go ahead and call Dan in one of our first post-coronavirus second date updates. This is exciting. I hope he answers. See what he thought of Lila. Hello? 
Hey, Dan? Yeah, this is Dan. There he is. It's Jeff and Janet, Q102. How are you doing this morning? Are you guys calling people again? <laughs> yes, we're calling people again. Seriously? Oh. I'm sorry. I've only been on one date, so I know who this is about. You know, it's funny. I, I thought maybe like if some time had passed, people would kind of forget about it. After yeah, I did tell. And we also feel, too, like it's kind of hard to get to know someone when you're wearing a mask and you're staying six feet apart. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It definitely is. If we're being honest, that whole date was a mistake. Why do you say that? I mean, I'll admit this right now. I'm a bit of a germaphobe. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time watching the news and learning everything I could about the virus. Oh, boy. Yeah. I was just trying to stay protected. Yeah, I get that. You want to be smart. Yeah. You want to stay healthy. You don't want to pass it on to others. Yeah, it could be said that I'm a bit obsessive about the whole thing, so it's taken up a lot of my time. So, like, how obsessive are we talking here? Like, You know how they say wash your hands for 20 seconds? I've been doing, like, three- and four-minute songs. Sometime, one time I did Bohemian Rhapsody while washing my hands. <laughs> Wow. Cleanest hands in America yeah, right here, man. people. Have yeah. you always been like this, or did this whole coronavirus thing just kind of kick that into high gear? I've always had, like, a little bit towards it, a little bit more clean than most people, but this definitely pushed my OCD up a bit. So was there anything about the date that was bad, or is it just you made a mistake as in, you shouldn't have gone outside because they told you to stay in your house. Oh, that's a good question. Kind of thing. Well, the day was fine. I mean, we went hiking. But, like, I've been spending a lot of time alone, and then I was lonely, and I decided that I didn't want to live my life because of the possibility of getting sick with the virus. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go on a date. And we were wearing a mask. We were socially distancing. We were walking or hiking, excuse me. It was, I don't know, it was fine. It was good so i figured that like going out with one person you know i'm doing this i'm wearing my n95 mask and she has this flimsy little scarf thing over her face so it was like obvious out of the gate she didn't know she wasn't taking this whole thing seriously like i was Mm -hmm. Ah, that's what it yeah yeah. she didn't have like a mac daddy n95 on her. no that's the way to go i mean if you're lucky enough to find one i'm sorry what well, if you're lucky enough to have access to it, I mean, medical professionals, I, I assume, who need it most. Well, did she tell you that she kept on taking it off and was complaining about how hot it was and it was suffocating her? Well, she did say that it was hot and uncomfortable, but I, I didn't know that she kept taking it off and making you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, it was super uncomfortable, and I get it, but we agreed to be responsible, and it's like, you can't be responsible on the first date. How is this going to go any further? Yeah, I think you just need to stay in your house, man. <laughs> I should have asked her what her definition of responsible was because that was it for her. We have different ideas of what that means. You know, I saw that with a lot of different people. Some people felt this way extreme or that way extreme. Mm-hmm. Some people were in the middle, but you can definitely tell that these two have a different yeah. kind of thought process on that. All right. Well, Dan, if you're familiar with Second Date Update, you know, Lila has been very patiently and quietly listening. Lila, feel free to jump in anytime here. What's your take on all this? I just, you're probably not a good match for me. (laughs) So, good luck with everything. Well, thank you for understanding. Um, I hope you find the guy that's right for you. There's a lot of dudes out there that would love to date a girl like you. That was nice. nice. Yeah. (laughs) And there are a lot of places that are starting to open back up. So you still have to stay in your zone, your table. But, you know, it's good to see other people out smiling. You may be able to meet someone out. Good luck. I hope so. For sure. Well, thank you both for coming on Second Date Update. Listen, we're here for you guys anytime something else comes up or you have any other dates you got questions about. We're happy to sort that out right here on live radio. (laughs) Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you. Be good. Bye. Bye. All right, if you need our help with a second date update, just send us an email, Jeff and Jen, at WKRQ.com. Thanks for listening to the Q102 Jeff and Jen Morning Show Podcast, brought to you by CVG Airport. Fly healthy through CVG. For more information, go to CVG Airport backslash fly healthy.